Pisces. Pisces, there we go. <laughs> Hello, my loves, and welcome back to the channel. Supreme gratitude for your love and support. Uh, this is going to be your first 2023 reading with me. We're going to tap into your weekly energy reading um, to see what we have, what messages we have for you, okay? You can have Pisces in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or north node. We are in full moon in cancer energy, so you very well may feel some remnants for that. All right. All right, so uh, keep in mind, this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Energy is fluid. Reverse the roses, need be. If you would like a personal reading, please click the description box below. Visit my website to book a personal reading, okay? Oh, awesome sauce. Make sure you like the video, okay? That helps the video circulate. That helps me get more people onto the channel, get more views for the videos. I greatly appreciate it. And keep in mind, uh, my nonprofit organization, Spiritual Goddess Enlightenment Inc., has teamed up with American Red Cross to do Sleeves Up, which is... Um, a way for you guys to go to the link. It's on the community board and pledge and make your appointment to donate blood. Anytime you donate blood, you're saving. You can save up to two, two to three lives. So let's make saving lives fun. Um, between now and Wednesday of next week, if you donate, if you pledge and go donate blood, you get a ten card complimentary reading from me. All right. So help me help the world. <laughs> um, if you go donate blood, use hashtag SG, SGE Saves Lives. I think it is SGE Saves Lives. All right. Spirit, please don't. That's just for Capricorn with the energy reading. All right, you got the Six of Wands, the World card, the Magician, the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, my God. <laughs> As I'm saying this, the Justice card slid. You know what I'm saying? There's some type of justice here that you guys are going to be having here um, within in a situation. Okay, if you guys got some type of court case that you got going on, um, it will go in your favor or there's some type of karmic justice going in your favor. All right. Like something is really going into your, in your favor. It's, it's going to be the outcome that the outcome that you wanted from a situation. OK. Whether this is like mental conflict, I feel like you're coming out of mental conflict. You're coming out of the energy of being stuck and stagnant, not knowing what to do or how to do it. OK. Um, you're finally like, you're speaking your mind, but I feel like you may not, you may not be speaking the right things, you know, <laughs> like you may be like conversating with somebody, but in the middle of this conversation, you know, you might get a little raspy, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and, um, it's not always bad. I feel like it's something that you have to release, right? Full moons are about releasing. So I feel like you're going to tell somebody why you've been distant you know, what you've been, you're going to give them a piece of your mind, right? You are releasing a particular energy. You're releasing thoughts. You're releasing something, um, taking control over your thought process, right? This is you or this is someone doing it to you, right? Energy is fluid. Um, so I feel like overall, you're going to have a very successful week. Okay. I feel like things are going to go in your favor. All right. You're going to be acknowledged. All right. You may get a promotion at work or if you have like, if you if you you've been battling with something, I see a lot of people just recognizing you for your battles and your struggles, and they're recognizing the growth that you have uh, went through. Okay, a cycle is over. All right, something is ending in your life, and you are now being restored with peace and harmony. You can move forward because you're no longer caught in the tumble. There's a lesson that was learned here. There's some energy that 
you know, you're like, okay, this, I, I was waiting on this to happen. And now, you know, um, we're in Capricorn, Aquarius, and then it's Pisces. So things are going to start looking a different type of way, you know, when it comes around to your birthday season. I tell everyone that um, when it comes to your birthday season, there's going to be some type of shift in your life. So you have, you know, you have the Georgian New Year, all right, which is January 1st. Um, you have the Astrology New Year, all right, which is March the 20, 20th, March 21st. Um, and then you have your birthday season. At these pivotal points, there's going to be things that are going to change in your life. So whatever this is, you're getting prepared for this new beginning for Pisces season, right? You're getting prepared for things to shift within your life. Now, I see you manifesting. You're working hard. A cycle is ending. You've been manifesting. You've been praying. You've been saying, how do I get out of this cycle? How do I, how do I press go? How do I, you know, regain my happiness? How do I regain myself? In this particular situation, you know, how do I, how do I get what it is that I want? And you're manifesting. Now, full moon, you do not manifest in full moon. You release, right? So you can manifest the releasing of something, right? But to bring something in, that's the new moon, right? So if you've been working, like, please release this heart heartache, you know, please release any strongholds on my life, you know, my business or my finances or my children, that you can do that type of manifestation um, within this full moon energy, okay? Um, th um, you're in the energy for about three days, a day before and a day after, something like that, um, for this right here. So it's all about releasing, you know, getting something off your chest. Um, you speaking your mind could be a part of you handling that as well. Uh, keep in mind, we are also in retrograde, right? So you're dealing with things that were left unsaid. You were de you're dealing with things that were left undone, Pisces. So in doing so, this release, like, you may feel like you're getting out of character <laughs> with this as well, with, with whoever this is, but you got to get it off of your conscience, okay? Um, so I feel like, you know, you have been very much so manifest, manifesting your family to get back on the same page, your family to be able to move forward. Okay. Um, and you're going to have success with that. I do see 10 of Pentacles here, um, which is a great card, right? You've been manifesting things to just get back aligned. You've been manifesting things to, and I'm, I'm strongly hearing co-parenting. I'm not getting like you and this person being in a relationship. I'm strongly getting like you've been manifesting the ability to be able to properly co-parent with someone. And I feel like whatever this re whatever this is, because it's some type of family involved here. Um, rather you and this person have kids together or like they may have children that you're attached to or they're attached to, or you guys have a dog, whatever this is you're, you're, you're going to be successful. You're, you're getting the outcome that you want. Like things are moving forward. Someone is like, you know, I don't want to just, I don't want to argue anymore. I don't want to be in this type of energy anymore. I want to move forward and make things work. Okay. Um, I feel like with that, with the proper, uh, agreements and coming together, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you're like, now we can move forward. Um, there's important pieces of the puzzle. Um, before even reconciliation, you know, and that's making sure that the kids or whatever you guys share together is, 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 you know, um, handled properly. So I feel like with this, you know, now you're going to be able to invest some type of energy into a situation. You're going to be less defensive with this person. Okay. Because now you, you, you created a foundation, which it's solid and it's stable, right? You know, the tower moment comes in when you didn't create a solid foundation and you just went forward towards something. Alarm. Um, <laughs> when you didn't create a solid foundation and you just went towards something and, and the tower moment com comes when it breaks down. But this is being built on a solid foundation, right? This solid understanding, uh, whatever whatever the bickering and, and arguing and things like that were before, they're no more, right? You don't have to be defensive at this time you're moving forward like okay i know what i need to do you know what you need to do let's figure it out right i feel like you guys are coming together as friends or your friends could be telling you like mm -mm. you may have one of them 
You may have one of them friends around you that's always, mm-mm, child, that ain't going to work. Mm-mm. And that could be you because Pisces, y'all are like that. Uh-uh, that ain't going to work, child. Mm-mm, you, fi- you, you just, you can't let them go because they don't know how to do what needs to be done. You're not in a community situation. This is you and your person situation. So whatever someone has to say in reference to your connection and what you are doing, co-parenting or whatever, like block it out because they shouldn't even really know that much about you okay but people could be telling you like okay they toxic as hell um don't do it they ain't gonna change listen can't nobody tell you what somebody else is gonna do i've been through it before you may have been through the same scenario before but you you wasn't with the same person you weren't with the same nothing you know even if they tell you what my 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 friend was a pisces too but what's in their venus What's in their moon rising? What's in their north node? What's in their Jupiter? What's in their Mars? What's in their Saturn? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is why people, like, that, that's kind of messy. Can't nobody tell you what your person going to do because even if they had the same sun sign, baby, the sun sign is just, hey, this is the season that they was born in. That has nothing to do with their makeup. So whoever may be in your head, just leave it where it's at. I feel like you and this person are going to establish a good friendship uh, with the co-parenting. Then you're going to be focused on your money. You're going to be focused on, you know, uh, doing what you need to do, working hard. I feel like you are going to put love to the side, all right? Love is going to be put to the side for some time while you're healing yourself, while you're resting, and just doing what you have to do. So whatever stagnancy, and this is like... (laughs) This is specific, right? This is specific. Whatever stagnancy that you've had with someone in your life, um, and you've just been over it, been wanting to move forward, you are moving forward this week. You are having the success this week. You are breaking all of the chains. You've manifested abundance and income. You've manifested all of these things and it's coming into you, okay? You're not having to just, you know, uh, be defensive. You're not having to be sneaky at getting something done. If it's his finances that you're manifesting, then it's going to come to you. you gotta, you're going to do it the right way and it's going to be very clear. You're going to have success. You're going to have a foundation. Some of you guys are moving into a place or you're going to find out that you're about to be moved into a place. Like you may be getting an approval letter, all right, for the, for the beginning of February. Some of you guys are moving now, between now and the beginning of February. You're moving into your own place. I feel like um, it's going to be at the help of somebody else as well. Like somebody around you could be helping you get this on, get this place, um, doing what else that needs to be done. Okay. Be mindful of things that you share with other people. Um, I do see you working very hard this week. Okay. I do see you being extremely focused this week. Um, in, in not on love, just focused on the bag, right? But with the Ten of Pentacles here, the Eight of Pentacles being here, the World card, the Six of Wands, the Four of Wands, it's looking real good for you this week, Pisces. I must say that I I, I must applaud that energy of what you have here. Like you've 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 manifested this. You work for it. So uh, even by the time you hear this reading, start your manifesting uh, to release. Okay. You want to release whatever no longer serving you. You want to release any type of energy. Um, you can go outside and do moon work. I think if you go to the playlist and go in the tools, um, I'm thinking that it's some, I'm thinking it's some uh, full moon. I think it should be some full moon and new moon. If not, I will definitely get some of those done. Um, but I am going to start putting them on the other channel, which which we talk about regular things and then spiritual um, enlightenment where I can get more deeper than, um, I, than I can over here. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, manif- uh, releasing, right? Releasing, releasing. Um, this is the time to charge your crystals, any type of crystals that you may have around your neck in your home. This is the perfect time to sit them outside. Um, this is the perfect time to create your war water. Okay. So, um, one of the practices is you have an ancestor altar. Okay. Um, you can collect water tonight and put that water in your ancestor on your ancestor altar or near your ancestor altar and that water is going to magnify like it's it's going to assist them you know what i'm saying with going to war on your behalf with stopping anything so um yeah charge some water up you want to charge uh some 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 good water not tap water you want to charge some spring water or something like that but charge it up put it in your um Put it near your ancestor altar. That's one good thing. Charge your crystals. Also, Pisces, um, if you can go sit outside, Pisces, 
in the moon i know it's cold in some places but if you can really go sit outside in the moon and allow the moon to shine down on your ori oh my god <laughs> you're gonna feel absolutely amazing okay if you can allow that moon to shine down on your ori now if, if you guys haven't seen i am um i have i have a, a low haircut all of my hair is gone um and that's one thing that i love to do since i've i've, I've you know, been in the spiritual alignment um, is sit outside and let the moon hit, right? So, you know, that, that moon is hitting your ori. You want to do that full moon and new moon um, because you want to release anything, you know, any negative thoughts, any any anything that's holding you back. You want to release any overthinking. There's just a few that I can think of right now, okay? Um, releasing also with a rich ritual bowl, okay? You can use the bowl to bring in. You can use the bowl to remove, um, so I do know it's a ritual bowl there. So just check that out, right? Because you don't do anything that's going to compromise this amazing week. You have an amazing week ahead. Leave it just how it is. Love is going on the back burner. The bread is the focus. You're going to be successful. Keep up the good work. I'm proud of you, Pisces. I shame.